of the Peter Pan afternoon tea, which is just so exciting. I've never been to have anything at the Aqua Shard before, so, but I have seen how amazing it looks, so I am just so excited to try it out. So, come on guys, let's go. really put thought into details. Look at this Peter Pan plate. And then I've also got Tinkerbell here. Like it's just so, so cool. We also have these of Tower Bridge and Tower of London. No talking to pirates, believe in fairies, think happy thoughts and never grow up. How fun is this? boy sandwiches which are chicken bacon mayo and mustard and the little bird sandwiches as well which is egg mayo and cucumber then we have the codfish captain hook which is deep fried cod with red breadcrumb the baked pig which is sausage roll and a brioche mushroom then moving on to dessert we have hooks parish cake which is a lime green victoria sponge with coconut on the outside peter's secret never treat entrance which is chocolate sponge with dark chocolate mousse and ganache and raspberry jam and then finally we have the TikTok the crocodile which is raspberry and rooibos tea jelly with a crocodile gummy and tinkerbell which is a sweet shortbread biscuit which are the two i am most excited about by the way <music> So the crocodile gummy in the jelly and the shortbread Tinkerbell biscuit definitely did not disappoint. They were my favorites just like I thought they would be alongside the scones because they were so mega tasty. And David, the manager, was so sweet to us. He was awesome. He's actually from Northern Ireland as well. And he gave us some champagne to celebrate our fifth wedding anniversary. It was so sweet of him and it was just really top-notch service. Okay, so we just got back from the Aqua Shard Peter Pan afternoon tea and you guys That was amazing. What I found is that So I always rate afternoon teas based on three criteria So and technically actually four criteria now that I think about it, but number one it is aesthetics so paying attention to theme um, surroundings etc and just how pretty it is Secondly, I would say is definitely food. Um, the quality of food, whether it's bottomless or not, you always get an extra point for me if it's bottomless, okay? So, and then third thing is service, how good the service is, how quick they are to serve you. And then fourth is value for money. So when you compare the other afternoon teas in Lennon, the majority of them are around a minimum of the 45 pound mark. But you'll generally find that the really cool ones are anywhere between 50 to 70 mark, especially if you want champagne. If you get champagne, it's always gonna be more on top. But you definitely get what you pay for. We paid a 30 pound per person one the other day. And honestly, I will say this one like it did not hold a candle to this one this one is absolutely incredible worth every cent 
Nathan was telling me he was watching a Netflix show the other day and it's basically about this person who went and got conned at this poker game but the con is that he actually just loved the experience of the poker game so it's kind of the same you pay a lot of money for this but it is worth every single penny because you're just like I would spend this and I would spend it again so that was kind of our experience here at the aqua shard we absolutely loved it so much we, it was worth every penny we would do it 10 times over so aesthetics amazing because of the fact that you have this gorgeous view and again very good attention to the theme Peter Pan as you guys saw it had you know the little smoke coming out there was just and it was in the shape of the Jolly Roger and it was just the everything about it was just absolutely incredible and then you have the service. The service was impeccable. We had David serving us and he was just so funny and hilarious but really attentive to us and he was just really, really great server. And then also, huh? Veggie Tyrone. <laughs> and then third thing was, what was the third thing? Food food was really tasty. It was bottomless. So you always get the extra point from me if it's bottomless, right? So again, they came over and asked us if we wanted more sandwiches and we were like, yes, thank you. We will take the bottomless food. Thank you very much. So hundred percent love it. I would actually say it goes neck and neck to me with sketch. Nathan preferred the aqua shard over sketch. So, but those two hold the highest rankings for me in London. Like we absolutely love it. And we've been to quite a few afternoon teas now. So this one is, de it definitely takes the cake alongside Sketch for me personally. Value for money, again, like I said, the more, um, the more you pay, the more you get. The service quality and everything in general, you get what you pay for and it was 100% worth it. So, highly recommend guys, if you're coming to London and you really want an incredible experience, afternoon tea is always the first thing I recommend to anybody. And this one is one of the ones that I would put at the absolute top alongside Sketch for you to go to. So, put it on your list guys and I'll catch you guys soon. Love you all.